Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. We're all aware of the current buzz surrounding NFTs and in today's video I'll teach you how to sell these NFTs for great profit. Before we go any further please click the notification box to get notified when I upload new videos. Let's get started without further ado. I strongly advise you to conduct some personal research first before purchasing anything and I'll show you how to buy for those who are new to the crypto sector. I hope this serves as a jumping off place for you in this rapidly expanding field. Let's get started guys. First and foremost, where do you buy your NFTs? Well the best place to get them is OpenSea.io and once you get there, you'll be able to establish your profile and account as well as link it to your crypto wallet. So I'll go over all the tools you'll need to make this work for you and then I'll go over the different types of NFTs you can get. I dare you to put in the effort and do intensive research for a week and discover how far this technology has progressed and how early we are in the cryptocurrency space because some of these projects are incredible. The first thing you'll need is a computer and some Ethereum, of course. And if you don't already have one, visit coinbase.com and get some Ethereum and download MetaMask too. You'll be able to send Ethereum from your Coinbase wallet to your MetaMask wallet once you've set it up. It's as simple as that. This may appear difficult at first but once you've done it a few times, you'll realize how simple it is. Then connect your MetaMask wallet to OpenSea so you can buy Ethereum directly from the exchange. If you're familiar with NFTs like Bored Ape Yacht Club or Mutant Apes, you'll agree that these are massive projects. And if you're also familiar with CryptoPunks, you'll agree that these NFTs have ranked in millions since their inception. You can also use the filter feature on OpenSea to look for the most recent NFT sale with the highest price. If you look at the OpenSea trade history, you'll see that some NFTs were sold for thousands of Ethereum. Let's suppose one NFT was sold for 4,200 ETH. The calculation is as follows. Today's Ethereum price is around 2,950, thus 4,200 times 2,950 equals 12.3 million. Take a look at these guys, they're nuts! So the NFT was sold for $12.3 million, isn't that incredible? Although these aren't the type of NFTs I'd like you to trade, we'll be looking into the less expensive newer projects. We're not risking a lot of money here, so we're keeping to the safer side. Remember that you can make a lot of money with cryptocurrency, but you can also lose a lot of money if you're not careful. Notwithstanding, if you want to make money with cryptocurrency, just buy some Bitcoin, Ethereum or Cardano and sit on it. It will most likely go up in value again. However, these NFTs are just astronomical and the amazing thing is that you can click into people's usernames on OpenSea so from there you can see what kind of NFT they're buying. I'll try to keep things moving slowly because there's a lot to take in but feel free to look around. What you should do now is look up future NFTs which are NFTs that aren't yet posted for sale on OpenSea.io but have been minted on other people's websites. You must however remain vigilant. One thing to keep in mind is that you can never be too sure if a project will be a success, but there are several characteristics to look for determining whether or not to invest in it. The first step is to join their Discord server. If you don't already have one, you can create one. You'll look at the total number of members and active members, as well as their chats and the type of conversations they're having. Then go to their Twitter account and see how many followers they have. Of course, 10,000 or more followers can be easily faked, but they can't fake engagements. So you'll go into their actual tweets and see what's going on. See if people are engaging and see how excited their followers are about this launch. Look at the dates of events on the website, the prizes and what their roadmap looks like, and then read and understand what you're investing in. The majority of them are video game tie-ins and other similar activities in which you can earn real money by playing the game. It's interesting and I suggest you spend at least a few hours exploring it. You don't have to trade it to learn about it but you can expect that a lot of people will be eager in learning more about it, especially if this space continues to grow. Now here's the deal. Let's say the mint price of the NFT you're interested in is approximately 0.025 which means that on launch day, let's say launch day is on Thursday, I'm just using this as an example. You'll go to their website or wherever you'll be able to mint it so you could make these NFTs appear to be sold out while you're there. 
To put it another way, you might never know what type of character you'll get. Assume they have 999 distinct characters, each of which is unique, but not all of them are created equal. Some of them will be common, and you will want uncommon ones. So for example, if you do all collections, you will have the most diverse set of projects in rank order, similar to what you'll find on OpenSea.io. However, there are a few notable ones and celebrities have been reported to have purchased them. As a result, it will rank and display the rarest ones first, so that you can view the rare characteristics, and it will display a rarity score as well as how it is broken down into its features. Make sure you do your research for at least a week before investing any money because there are a lot of fake NFT-like stuff out there that are fly-by-night projects that come and go, so you'll never hear from them again. But I hope you learned something from this video because we live in such an amazing time. We're still in the early phases of cryptocurrencies, the metaverse, NFTs, and whatever else has yet to come. So don't be reluctant to educate yourself since you'll be way ahead of the game. Some people haven't even heard of NFTs yet. However, investing in NFTs is a misconception because NFTs are not an asset class in the real sense. NFTs use blockchain technology to digitally symbolize ownership, making them more related to a car title than a vehicle itself. It's not a good idea to acquire an asset just because it's been tokenized into an NFT. Just like you would buy a car from the paper title that comes with it. That doesn't rule out the idea of investing in tokenized assets. If you find any asset that appeals to you and has the necessary funds, you should consider purchasing it. If the asset is tokenized, you can certainly make use of the additional benefit that comes with NFTs. However, be aware of the hazards associated with NFT investing. There are numerous reasons why investors might wish to purchase assets that have been tokenized into NFTs. There are numerous benefits to investing in NFTs. Anyone can invest in NFTs and everyone can invest in tokenized assets. Asset ownership that has been tokenized into an NFT can be transferred more easily and efficiently between persons all over the world. Furthermore, NFT ownership is safe. An investor's ownership of an asset is more secure when blockchain technology is used to digitally signify ownership. Blockchain technology can also make asset ownership more transparent as you continue to engage yourself in this. You will have the opportunity to learn more about blockchain technology. By devoting a small sum of tokenized assets, investors can gain a better understanding of blockchain while diversifying their portfolio. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you for staying with us until the end of this video. And if you found this video helpful, please like and hit the subscribe button as well. Also hit the notification button so you don't miss more fascinating videos from us. And we'll see you next time.